in this video, we're going to talk about the piano roll. The piano roll in the MPC software works the same as every other piano roll. However, there is some exceptions, like um, you have to create key groups to do all the 808 stuff or the trap hi-hats. However, the basic piano roll, you can adjust the height and the length, and that's what we're going to go over in this video. Check it out. All right, so look, in the piano roll, when you start your MPC software, by default, you'll probably get something like this with all this stuff around with the pads and all that stuff. But in this video, I want to just focus on the piano roll because the piano roll is where all the MIDI information is. It's where you can do all your 808s and your slides and all your trap hi-hats. So, to get to the piano roll is nice, you know, it's right here. It's standard. However, I just want this to be just the piano roll. So what I will have to do, I will have to cut off the MIDI keys, which I can cut that off. And then I can cut off the bottom panel. This gives me access to the piano roll. I can get more access if I turn this velocity tab off by clicking the arrow. So now I have full control of the piano roll. So let's type in some notes or record some notes. Okay, that's cool. I'm using my mouse to go up and to toggle up and down. You can also toggle up and down by doing this or pressing the arrows on your keyboard. Alright. Um, you can also stretch it out so you can have some room or some space. Let's do a full screen. So Let's just say if I wanted to make this four bars right here, this right here at the end would expand longer. So I'm going to go up there and I'm going to go to double length. Four bars. So when I adjust this, it should be longer. Oh, I don't want to do that. Cut that off because it's one but that's how you pretty much do it. You can adjust the piano roll by doing this, you know, grabbing the arrow at the bottom so you can have more on the screen. Or if you want to adjust the height, you can do it like that, if that suits you. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty much basic. Um, you can also turn on the MIDI keys. Sometimes I like that on just so because I want to have access of the piano roll. So this is a typical good piano roll to have. You can also save this as a template so you don't have to be going back and forth, back and forth. Um, but it works the same way. So if I highlight these notes right here and I drag, it takes it down an octave. It can transpose it and all that. You know, it pretty much works like Fruity Loops. However, when you go to do the 808s, you have to go to, over here to a key group where the arrow is. You have to go to a key group program. And then you have to layer, you have to put the sound, you have to actually put the sound on the pad. It, it doesn't just automatic. So if I drag this, nothing will happen. Because this is technically just a key group. Key group is pretty much audio. But if I go back to the plugin, I can drag it again, you know, drag everything. I can also copy it if I wanted to by holding, you know, uh, uh, option and pull it over. 
It's pretty much just like Fruity Loops, pretty much. However, with Fruity Loops, you know, you can drag, you know, your 808s and your audio onto the piano roll with the MIDI. So if Akai, if you're listening, we MP, MPC users would love to have that feature, you know, because it really is, it doesn't make sense to just keep going back and forth to key group. And then you have to layer, you have to actually put the sound, layer the sound on the key group. And then you can use it as, you know, as you would a Fruity Loops or Ableton. So this is pretty much how you do it. You know, you can adjust the, you know, the width and the length by clicking these arrows down here. Aaron and the height by clicking this arrow right here on the side. You can also toggle up and down by using your mouth or using the arrows on your keyboard. You know, that's pretty much the uh, basic of the piano roll. You know, if you want to cut these keys off, you just hit this bottom right here and cut it off. You know, bottom panel, you want the pads back. Let's do it like that. And that's pretty much how you do it. This is the basics. Hopefully we'll get some more features and some more updates because, like I said, you know, it'd be good if we can have the piano roll act as a key group as well. You know, so if Akai, if you're listening, let's get that feature. Um, other than that, it's pretty simple as that. You know, like, share, and subscribe. Peace.